Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good day again, everyone. Today we will be learning about rational algebraic expressions. Okay. Firstly, po, when we talk about algebraic expressions, um, basically it means that they are expressions. Okay. That has letters. Mga may letters, may variables tayo included. Okay. So I hope that is clear. So firstly, let's define what is a rational algebraic expression. Okay. So when we talk about rational algebraic expressions, these are expressions in mathematics. Pag sinabi natin sa algebraic expressions, may mga ganyan tayong given. x plus 2, 2x squared plus 3, um, x cubed plus 2x squared minus 7, things like that. So yan yung mga example natin, algebraic expressions. Okay? Walang equals na mapapansin, walang ganyan. Okay? But instead, you will just simply have this. Okay? But when we talk about rational algebraic expressions, we will have rational numbers. Okay? Pag sinabi natin rational numbers, those are just simply numbers. Sulat natin dito. Rational numbers. Those are just simply numbers in the form of P over Q. Okay? Wherein yung P and q are elements of real numbers and at the same time q is not equals to zero so ganun po yung ating um, conditions for us to have our rational number so in short lang po yung baba ay bawal maging zero kasi pag naging zero yung baba you will be dividing by zero and we all know that in mathematics you cannot divide by zero okay so i hope that is clear so ngayon, ang rational algebraic expressions are just simply algebraic expressions na may fraction. So ganoon lang po siya kadali. Kapag may nakita kayong gantong klaseng example, um, say, x plus 2 over 3, this one is already an algebraic expressions. Expression, I mean. Okay po? Kasi yung iyong given ay mayroong fraction form. Another example, um, x plus 5, over x minus 2. Another example of algebraic, um, rational algebraic expression. And you will have countless of examples of this given. Um, let me just whip something up. Um, okay, this one. Yeah. So this one, another alge uh, rational algebraic expression. Okay, pop. Now, um, the thing that we will do next is uh, we will be I'm studying about how do we actually simplify algebraic rational expressions, okay? Remember po ng algebraic rational expressions or, I mean, rational expressions or fractions can be simplified. For example po, so I'm just going to write it here. Simplify, okay? For example, we have um, 6 over 9, yeah. Remember na ang 6 over 9 has a simplest form. And we get the simplest form by dividing the numerator, this one, and the denominator by its what you call the GCF. Okay? The greatest common factor. So, i divide mo tong 6 and 9 by the GCF. And the GCF of 6 and 9 is just simply, wait, sorry, is just simply 3. Okay? So, meaning, itong 6 and 9, pag dinivide ko to by 3, the answer is 2. And if I divide it by 3, the answer is 3. Therefore, this 2 thirds is your simplest form. Okay? So, meaning, ang hinahanap po pala is the GCF. Okay? So, in any given ras rational ex algebraic expression, you can try to find the simplest form. But then again, not all algebraic rational expressions are in its simplest form. Okay? So, ano nga ba yung katumbas nitong given na to, okay, sa ating mga rational expressions, okay? So, let's try to find out. So, let's use our examples pa, okay? So, yung x plus 5 over, um, let me check, it's over 3. Ano daw yung kanyang GCF, okay? When it comes to GCF pagdating sa mga rational algebraic expressions na, ang ginagamit natin is actually yung tinatawag na CMF, which is you're all familiar with it. 
Okay? Yung CMF lang po, not factoring by CMF. Ibig sabihin, I will find the common monomial factor of this one and this one. Okay? Ang common monomial factor can be found by finding the LCB and your um, GCF. Okay? Ang GCF is for the number part. Okay po? So, ito, hahanapin mo yung CMF niya. Okay? So, ano pa CMF na ito? Obviously, wala. Bakit? Kasi, walang GCF yung 1 tsaka 5. And also, walang common na variable. Okay? And same goes sa 3. Wala na yan. Yan yung, it's a, what they call this? It's a prime number. Okay? Meaning, it has no factor other than 1 in itself. So, therefore, kung walang CMF, therefore, x plus 5 over 3 is already in its simplest form. Okay? So, going back, doon lang tayo sa pang uh, pangatlo na kasi yung pangalawa, ano, I'm going to tell you wala yung sa Okay? So, going back, doon tayo sa may x plus 5, x squared plus 5, x plus 6 divided by x plus 3. Okay? So, in short po, ang ginagawa actually natin dito is we are trying to factor out. Okay? So, ito, since ito wala yung CMF, obviously. So, we will try now yung factoring ng given natin. Okay? If I may ask you, what is the best way to solve for x squared plus 5x plus 6? And the best way to solve this one is by using yung factoring by GFQT. Okay? And GFQT, I will not discuss that further, but the answer for this one is just simply x plus 3 and x plus 2. Okay? Divided by x plus 3. Now, you will notice na may common. Remember po, ang ating factoring po ng rational numbers okay, is just like this as well. So, 6 over 9 is equals to 3 times 2 times 3 times 3. Ang nangyari dyan, nawala yung common. Ano yung napansin yung sagot? The answer is just simply 2 thirds. Tama ba? Same concept po. Pagdating dito, aalisin nyo lang yung common sa kanila. Okay? And after you have removed the common, therefore, yung natira, which is x plus 2, okay, is your simplest form. But then again, yun nga, please don't be confused, hindi po natin siya actually inaalis. We are actually dividing them. Any number divided by itself is equals to 1. And 1 times any number is equals to itself. Okay po? So, I do hope you got that part. Okay? So, ang ginagawa lang natin basically when we are trying to simplify is we are trying to factor the numerator and then the denominator. So, I will leave a note here when simplifying. Oops, sorry. When simplifying, find the factor of the numerator, oops, sorry, numerator and the denominator. And finally, the next thing you have to do is you just have to simply cancel out common terms. Okay? So, we will discuss this further. I will provide an example on our next video. Okay? So, just simply be reminded of the different factoring methods that we will be using and to be specific, ito po yung mga yon. We will be using CMF. We will be using general form quadratic trinomial or the GFQT. We will be using DTS, difference of two squares, we will be using sum or difference of two cubes. And we will be using factoring by grouping. Okay? So, our videos is available on our course. You can check that anytime. Thank you for listening everyone. And assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.